Okay, here we go. Here we go. The intro. Right. Uh -huh. You didn't know it was coming on the zoo. I'm from the zoo with world famous John Bankston. I finally got him. We're here at his marvelous show and his works here in San Francisco. Congratulations. Thank you. It's a pleasure to finally have you on screen. <laughs> He's real. There's no myth. This is my uncle. I'm very proud of him. He's here. I'm not going to give away too much, but how are you feeling today? Pretty good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. how, was, how was your uh, vacation? Yeah, good. 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 Yeah, I'm not going to put you on the spot. Right. I just want to say, what do you think about your art being displayed here in the, in the, in the, in the gallery? Uh, I'm glad it's here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad it's here. I'm glad it's here, too. <laughs> you know, when I was talking to, uh, I was talking to um, one of you, Bob, and the amazing thing is how, how are all, all the artwork trans and move? Do you have to move that yourself? No, they moved it. Okay, yeah, moved okay. It. It's such a beautiful thing. Well, listen, John Bankston, excellent artist. Check him out right now. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. What's happening, everybody? What's going on? This is Mike Michigan and my co-host. It's B-Dub. Good morning, good afternoon, good day to you, sir. How you doing today, B-Dub? Doing all right, man. Hanging on. That's what I'm talking about, fam. That's what I'm talking about. Man, where are you from, brother? I'm from the zoo, baby. I'm from the zoo as well. Welcome to all my people. Welcome back. Welcome to our show. Now, we thank you if you're checking in on Spotify, if you're checking in on YouTube, if you're checking in on Facebook. We got an exciting and special show today. One that's right up my alley. Would you say, B-Dub? Already. Got a nice little track star on deck. Yeah, man. You definitely hooked this up for us, man. And you know what? Well, um, we want to say uh, it's happy March. And we want to say happy Women's Month. Uh, to all the beautiful women out there, we salute you. We thank you uh, for everything that you do. You know, it wouldn't be no us if it wasn't for y'all. And that's real. You know, so we want to appreciate that and thank you right now. If you're having a birthday out there, happy birthday to you. If you celebrate an anniversary, happy anniversary. But without further ado, B Dub, would you like to announce our Zap In person for the day? Well, we got a professional athlete, college grad. Going to be participating in this next Olympics coming up in, in a couple of months here. And um, her name is Raina Ryan. We'd like to bring Raina Ryan to the show. Tap her on in. Hello. Welcome, Ms. Ryan. How are you? She got her phone on mute. Oh, I think you're on mute right there. I'm sorry. Uh oh, I'm sorry. Uh, how are you guys doing? I'm doing great. You doing great? Thank you for being on the show. We welcome you. Thank you so much for having me. 
I can't now I can't help to help to see that you got a, a is that a bass fisherman help hat, hat on? Are you a fisherman? Did you go fishing? No, it's just a little, <laughs> little hat everybody be wearing. We everybody like those. We like the, those. The like trucker that. trucker hats. I like trucker hats. Trucker hats, that's what's happening. I'm just messing I'm with you. I'm a huge fan of trucker hats. Trucker hats. I'm just messing with you. Now. I like them too. That's that's what I'm talking about. You look very wonderful. And very beautiful. Hey, you know what? We have we have something marvelous in common. We both are track and field athletes. Oh, really? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So I am so happy to have you as a guest on the show, big time. And ladies and gentlemen, we have Miss Raina Ryan, Olympian, future Olympian, quarter miler. And we're going to go there with that because that if it wasn't for the quarter mile on your team, you would not have a track and field team. Would you say, Ms. Ryan? I would I would definitely agree. <laughs> I would agree. Well, we're going to take it back. We're going to say, so where are you from? Tell us where are you from? I am from, originally, I was born in the south side of Houston, Texas, on a little old street called Inyard, located on MLK and Griggs. Right. Uh, shout out to all my Houstonians, Houstonians that's tuned in, that's so and cute. it's from the south side. I know about the south side, so uh, I like to call myself and everybody around me. They say I'm a South Side legend, you know, because I made it out. Claim that, claim that. You know what I'm saying? I know about that. Come on now. So what school did you go to? What were your early beginnings in track and field? Was it in track and field or was it usually we were probably good in all sports? I, I presume you were probably good in all the sports, right? Well, Everything except soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. We're the same thing. We're definitely on the same page. That's so funny. Everything except soccer. Yeah, I agree. That's that. That's a track and field mentality. You know what I'm saying? We <laughs> run around all day for that. We might as well run track. No, for real. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> for real. So tell us about your feats when you were in. Now, what high school and junior high schools did you go to? Well, I went to a lot of schools. My, I went to my junior high school. I went to Oprah Winfrey School called Kip Liberation College Preparatory. Um, when I was there, they pretty much drilled in going to college in my head. So uh, I knew by the fifth grade, sixth grade, that I what college I wanted to go to. And I kind of left there because it was an all black school and I kind of wanted to be around adversity. I mean, like diversity. Um, so I begged my parents to put me in a more diverse school called Pin Oak Middle School. And from there, um, I was able to basically create different friendships and born with different ethnic backgrounds from Indians to Asians to Swahilian people from all over and it's just amazing how going from um a predominantly black school and then realizing like man is it more to life than, <laughs> than just being around uh a lot of black people, which is cool, but I wanted to, I, I knew that in life I was going to be around a lot of diversity and I knew young that I needed to switch school so that I could get accustomed to that going into college, going into, you know, my field. Cause you know, when you run track, you, you basically run into different that, countries, that. right? So from Pin Oak, I ended up going to Lamar High School, Mary B. Mary Boo B. Lamar High School, which is by the Galleria um, in Houston. And I later transferred to High Tower High School, and I graduated from Thurgood Marshall High School. Um, yeah, those schools all were very good schools in track, and I just didn't have my parents 
my parents supported me, but God blessed me with the wisdom and vision that my parents didn't have. They were just like the people that signed the paperwork, but I was the brains <laughs> right. behind the operation. And uh, so shout out to my parents for always supporting me and putting me in different schools that uh, all helped me to go to college and um, my high school that I ended up graduating and waiting from. Um, I knew that I really, really wanted to go to college and I needed to be coached properly. I needed to be around some nurturing. And um, so I graduated from Thurgood Marshall, which is where uh, we won state uh, for the last 15 years every year um, in Texas 5A. Shout out to Coach Banks and Coach B for always being in my corner. Um, my high school that I graduated from, Marshall, plays a huge role right now today in my training and in my professional life. Um, they just always so open arms. So shout out to God. Shout out to them. Shout out to, you know, people don't realize that middle school and high school, those things set you up for... Mm -hmm. Yeah. for for where you're trying to go in life and I knew if I wanted to experience what I'm going to experience of being an Olympian I needed to um surround myself with that at a young age right. so now it's 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 you know the track aspect is another part running it's a whole nother part but it's more to it than just running now you, now, you said so many wonderful things. Thank you so much for that. That was thorough. Now, you're a graduate of Thorough, Thorough, Mar Thorough Good Marshall High School. And you yes, Thorough Good Marshall High School. You noted that they're like the, the powerhouse in Texas. And you did shout out some of your coaches. And you know what? You also said something very interesting because right now I'm coaching middle schoolers in track and field in Richmond. Right. Yeah, right now, where it is born. And what you uh -huh. just said so important because I give them that no nonsense training in that middle school. I'm telling them, and, and you're right, it is preparing it for them. And some of them get it and some of them don't. And you're absolutely right. And, and one thing that uh, you said also from your parents signing the paperwork for you, but you had the brains behind it to do the yes. And yes. going from different school to different school actually was a was a pre you know precursor for you for your travels because you you know in track and field I can see you have traveled all over the world competing in college so let's talk about that when you got out of uh when you graduated uh what what uh now now just to let you know I'm a I'm an Oregon duck I ran okay. track I ran, I ran track for the University of Oregon oh wow you're a goat then if you went to <laughs> Oregon you automatic goat status that's what I'm saying, Queen. Thank you so much for that You're right welcome. there. I just want to let you know, I, yo, when you talk about all the running and all the training. Tell, hey, tell, yeah, tell, yeah. tell, tell her a little bit of your, tell her a little bit of your stats, Mike. Miss, tell her man, what you did as far as long jump wise. She humbled me, man. She said about the Oregon thing. I'm kind of, you know, I'm nice. But like, thank. Well, in high school, well, the thing about high school for me, the most, the best thing in the world is that. What I was gonna say is because like. Being a track athlete, sometimes you go through ups and downs and a lot of injury yeah. and a lot yeah. of a lot of hard work. And a lot of people don't see those miles and those lifting weights and those tears and those stretching and those hamstrings and shins Ooh. and Achilles and all. They don't see all that, right? So I had, make a long story short, I had broke two legs in a row mm. in 10th grade and 11th grade. Mm. I came back my 12th grade year, had to bypass my sports I love football and basketball had to run indoor track but uh wound up jumping and br breaking the long jump records 24 eight and three quarters wow. high school and it's still all like, things are possible God is the greatest so you know so it's still up there plus it was like you know plus the hundred you know I was we was rolling we, we yeah had, you know, like when you said I mean I, you went to Oregon so you you was like that yeah it's not about me but I, but 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 like the reason why I love hearing about your high school is because, you know, we uh we we took track and field serious in high school as well. And, you know, that competition that you had, let's not bypass that. Were you a state champion 
Let's talk about some of those, some of those accolades that you did in high school. Well, so my freshman year in high school, I kind of had a big head. Because <laughs> I <laughs> my Lamar was like Lamar is a great high school for football and track at the time. Um they called it DBU. So everybody that came out of there, it was it was it was DBU. Everybody had scholarships and like I was an incoming freshman. I came in, I was really fast. I was taking all the girl, the senior girls spots and I, I just was that girl. And I had so much freedom and I had a lot of leverage. And it was literally like a mini university. I can't even lie. I was just there. Just I was in college before I was in college. My freshman year. <laughs> it was you know yeah. that that synergy when you got all, school, yeah. when you got a lot of other sports and a lot yeah. of athletes, and it's kind of like an expectancy, like who recruiting you or who's coming to the game to check you today, or yeah, you know, like you couldn't miss no sport. Yeah, everybody had to be at everybody's uh, event. It was it was that and more. And my high school, I'm I'm from the south side, but my high school was in River Oaks where all the rich kids. So it was it was just everything that I needed to prepare to me where I am. And I was the district champion in the hundred meters and the two hundred um and the relays, the four by four and the four by two, I pretty much did everything my freshman year from hurdles to relays to the 100 and 200. I was very talented. Um, I I ended up um, transfer, transferring to Hightower because one of my training partners, um, basically, we didn't really have a coach. We were just all naturally fast. And I yeah. knew that I needed to be developed to go to Oregon, to go to, you know, these the big universities that I'm like, I got a chance, you know, to go. And I wanted to be coached. Yes. yes I knew yes. I needed to be developed. And one of my training partners uh, at my high school, his name, uh, her name is Milan Young. I don't know if you heard of Michael Young. She, they're part of the Five Slam Jamma. He was a part of Five Slam Jamma. But me and his daughter went to the same high school, and we were very close friends. And he also had a summer track team. So I kind of, they kind of raised me in the track world. Like they were, he was like my second parent. No, um, no. Were you also because you know Carl Lewis and all of them were were around there as well in that yes. Atlanta was Burrell. I ran for uh Carl Lewis. I ran for his track team, Carl Lewis Stars. Okay. And um congratulations on that by the way. Thank you. Yeah. And actually Michelle Finn Burrell is my mentor. <laughs> <laughs> See well, we'll 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 get there. I'm gonna tell you okay. who my coach when I tell you who my coach is, you might be like wow. Yeah. But yeah. Oh. um it's just the my the Youngs were the first family of sports here in Houston. So everybody from his sons, Joe Young, shout out to Jacob Young, all of them went to the league. Then you have Milan, who's a star hurdler, you know, and then you have me, who I'm not a part of the family, but they kind of adopted me into the family. So, um, but it was just like, it just got to a point where, I kind of wanted my own, like my own, you know, status for me. And um, I was kind of like in my feelings a little bit because I wasn't, I was seeing the attention that Milan was getting. And then I was like, man, like I deserve that for myself as well. So I kind of took it upon myself and my family and God to try to put myself in a in a in a in a better situation uh, as far as my development and where I'm trying to go in life and uh, I went to high tower but when I got to high tower high school my junior year I fell into a state of depression because I was 15 years old and I was making these big decisions on my own it was like I had my parents help 
but I was also going through hormonal changes as a female and dealing with guys and um it was just a lot and I was depressed very very depressed because I I, I was running good like did it reflect a little bit on your on your running in that in that year it did I I was on I, I was on um Physically, I was on a, a birth, you know how women, we have to be on birth control for various reasons, like uh, really bad cramps and stuff like that. When I was 15, I had really, really bad cramps because that was the time, you know, of becoming a woman. And my doctor suggested that I get on a depo shot. The depo birth control made me very, uh, and I'm talking about this because this is real, like, you know, I don't mind sharing my story. The, sure, sure. the depo um, birth control made me gain weight and and it made me very, very sad. So mm. I had all of these big pressures on me because, you know, junior year, that's, I mean, well, sophomore year, you know, that's the time you got to slide, really, you know, because college coaches are about to start recruiting you. And, mm. um, I just had all these pressures on me and I was going through these hormonal changes that I couldn't control. And I was actually admitted into a, a psychiatric hospital. Uh, I, I I crashed with of depression and I was there for two months. So I didn't get to finish my season. Um, when I was at High Tower, I came in and I stole some people spots on the relay that were seniors and mm -hmm. I didn't really get along with the the girls just kind of turned their nose up some of them of them did because they worked so hard for their spots and I and it to them it's like I just came in and just you know <laughs> and right and at you the time you weren't even at your at your elite level and you were I wasn't your... even at my elite level and that um, burglar <laughs> 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 um but it was it was just a lot to deal with and I was in I was I kind of let that depression take over me but I was young and I didn't know what yeah. it was right. you know so what, was, what was something that helped you get to the next season and and, and were you still did you carry that or what well, was when what I was, was when I was in the hospital mm. I was with girls adolescent girls they were going through way more worse stuff than me. Like it was girls that were in there for hallucinations, being raped and just a, a lot of different things. And every day I would journal um, yeah. and I would, in my journaling, I will talk to God. Every page was every day was dear God, dear God, dear God. And um he helped me. I my relate. I I had to get. I I knew who God was. I believed in God. I grew up in a church, and you know I had a relationship. But when I was in the hospital at fifteen years old, I actually created a bond with Jesus Christ. And a lot of fifteen year olds wasn't on that at fifteen. But mm -hmm. when I was fifteen years old. I knew it was me and God, you know, and no matter um, what the devil tried to plant in my head, the circumstances, like I, I got to begin that relationship of knowing who God was and that's what saved me. And I got out of the hospital and I transferred back to my old school, Lamar, and I came back my junior year and I had a phenomenal junior year. Um, I district champion. I made it all the way to regionals. I didn't have a coach. I was I, I was hopping a fence at Marshall, training by myself to use their track. <laughs> and uh -huh. I I ran some I I ran some pretty decent times for, for me training myself. Uh, and. I've made it all the way to the Great Southwest, um, which is like a, a really big meet for the all the, the the good high school athletes in the Southwest area. 
And I knew from there that track and field was going to be a part of my life for a very, very long time. And uh, and that's what I was going to say. You, you, yeah. you, uh, you definitely are super uh, accomplished. And we're going to continue right now. We just are already well into the second quarter here. We're going to do a quick shout. We got to pay the bills. Dove, you want to... No. Uh, you wanna you wanna give a shout out to any of our sponsors, brother? Real quick. Yeah, we'd like to give a shout out to uh, Kellogg's Breakfast of Champions, and also give a shout out to a uh, first round uh, number one draft pick. Uh, shouts out to Supreme, and shouts out right. to uh, Napalm, Flowery, very oh. good um, out of Seattle, big All sponsor, right. for and blockchain yeah. management. Blockchain shouts out to blockchain. Management. And right now we are on the Come Through Network. Um, I'm from the Zoo. I'm Mike Mish. That's B Dub. We are with, we are with the lovely Miss Raina Ryan, the Olympian, uh, soon to be rocking them gold medals. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna get into it some more. I also want to uh, shout out uh, Certified um, My Tea with Miss Vicky, and you know what I'm saying. So you can also get that link earlier right there. Shout out to Miss Vicky. Shout out to Miss Vicky. As well, and if you want to donate or something for us right here on the show, there's the uh, uh, podcast for I'm from the Zoo for the Cash App. We we definitely appreciate you all reaching out, and uh, we also want to shout out um, shout out yourself for being here. And let's get back into it, with Ms. Ryan. You know what I'm saying? So look, uh, we're gonna get we're gonna move forward a little bit because like we we don't want to go too far forward, but it's it's one thing about sports, and you had mentioned about God. And, you know, track and field and the Lord, they go hand in hand. And I, I don't think people really realize, like, like you said something that was so important. All of the great athletes that have come from Houston, all the great coaches, all the great teams, Houston is, is a pillar of sports. You can't have nothing and there can't be no conversation in the world and, and Houston not be involved in sports, music, entertainment, politics, all of that big money. So Houston's definitely been super influential. So when you come from that kind of cloth, we know what's going on. And then that competitive nature, we can definitely see it in you because you left you left those different schools. You didn't worry about breaking somebody's feelings. You know what I'm saying? You were just like, hey, I need to get where I need to go. And you still have that. And and that's mm -hmm. the thing you have to have. You got to have a killer person, a killer tenacity. I don't want to say personality, but you got to have a, a killer tenacity and not, not, not to be like you're hurting someone, but you just got to be able to like to finish the job. Like, you know, I tell some of my children who are in middle school, right? I said to them, especially when they're smaller in statue, or even if they're no matter what they are, you know, whatever the girls, the boys, I look around right there and I say, you know what? Don't let your friends beat you just because they say they wanted you to let them win. You make your mm. friends you. and then you still be humble and kind when you win. But don't you mm. ever, 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 don't you ever go backwards because if you know you can beat someone, you continue to do it. Now, I don't care how big they are. And they're always looking like, you know what I mean? They always like, they understand yes, <laughs> that, that, that little, that little, because they got that heart. They can see it. You right. know, they, you know, where kids are always telling them you're too small or, you know, mine was, you know, I got laughed at a lot because I had broken legs. You, nobody would see that coming, those type of performance right. in those kind of times. You know what I'm mm. saying? And speaking of times, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking a quarter mile, a 60 meters, a 100 meters, 200 meters. Anything over that is long distance. We don't want to hear about it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so talk so, to us. So talk, what's, so, what's, your best, what's your best event? Um, that you like to run? Well, I kind of love everything in track. I've I've been a pentathlon. Mm. Uh, when I was nine years old, I did the pentathlon. Uh, I mean, not nine. When I was 12 years old, I did the pentathlon. And mm. that year was a very big year for me because I won the 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 uh, district, I mean, not the district, the association and the regional. And I placed 12th at the Junior Olympics. And I just was just doing anything, y'all. 
Where, where, so where was I it? Where was that, where was that junior sports. Olympics at? Do you remember where that junior it, Olympics that was? That year, was, it was in, oh my gosh, where was it? Was uh, it in Wichita? Wichita. No, it wasn't in Wichita. It was in, I think it was in Wichita, honestly. Wichita, okay. Wichita or it was in California, one of those two. Okay, shout out to the Junior Olympics, definitely. Yes, shout out to the Junior Olympics. Shout out. Oh, I didn't tell y'all. I've been running track since I was nine years old. <laughs> I've been, you know what? I've been doing AAU and the track stuff too for a while. And and, and yes. you said Junior Olympics. Like, I went to Junior Olympics. It was in Spokane, Washington. And Okay, I didn't. They always repeated though. So I didn't make it yeah. there. But I went, there. That was, I just, we just went to the, well, one was in Tallahassee. And then one was in, and then Spokane. But what I got out of those experiences, um, and I want you to share what your experiences were. What I came from from that was, you know, especially if you did well, you're like, wow, you know, this is the best of the best all over the world, or you know, or at least America, and you're competing, you know, and you see all these other kids competing, and you know that you can do it, and it gives you some kind of confidence that you can, you know, that. You, your schoolmates don't even understand because you're out on a track and uh, and outside traveling in the world and doing these things. And then you come back to school and some people may have not left or had those type of experience. Tell us about your experiences when you went to these different events when you were young. Well, when I was nine, that was my first time running track. Mm -hmm. uh, my niece, actually, I have a niece who are three years apart. I mean, I'm older. <laughs> But my sister uh, brought me to practice one day, and I just dusted everybody. It was just a local track team. Um, we trained at Worthing High School in the hood. Uh, mm -hmm. So our track team wasn't like the the most popular. It was all all, all the hood people that was five yeah. ran for that team. And it was the real real I, track team. Yeah, the the real the real hitters. Uh, <laughs> uh, I came out there a young girl um, and yeah. I remember I made it all the way to the to the golf association uh, meet you know because it's the inner city then it's regional then it's junior olympics and and I and I went out there and I was doing good at all the local track meets, but at the at the association, they was really rolling. I didn't make it past there, but that next year when I turned 10, yeah. I qualified in a four by eight. I ain't even running 800, but I was just like, throw me on the 800. <laughs> just and, to get right? Right. Just to, just, I was trying to go, man. So we, we qualified yeah. uh for the junior olympics in the four by eight when i was 10 and ever since 10 years old all the way to 18 i've made it to the junior olympics except that year that i was 15 and i was in a hospital but when i came back i came back and um i that next year when i turned 12 i qualified in the 80 meter hurdles the 200 and the pentathlon so okay. i was stacked you, and you then can, it just was after, up you, after you that. Super, super athlete. And then and super can, athlete. You know what? I, I, I love that. Now let's go. We are already almost two minutes to the halftime, and we still just been just wondering, you know, just just been getting into how who you are. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now we get ready to go into the training phase. Okay. Um, saying, so you graduated with honors in track and field, definitely. Yeah. And where were you recruited by? And where did you go to where did you go to college? I went to college. At, I went to JUCO in Butler Community College in El Dorado, Kansas. Okay, and then um, that's the goat of junior colleges. Why the like, goat of <laughs> the goat of junior colleges, man? Shout out to Coach oh, Greg Franklin, who's now the head coach. Say that again. I'm sorry. I was saying shout out to Coach Greg Franklin, who is now the head coach. Um, coach Franklin. I was coach injured. Coach. I was injured going in uh, my senior year. I I ended up tearing my ACL and I didn't know. Wow. And uh, and you know I only had times for my junior <laughs> year. They were decent, but they wasn't. Huh? I'm sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you. When you tore your ACL, did you run through that and you didn't know it? I ran through it. 
and didn't know. Are you it. ran through Texas State and all that. You know what? I I had an injury like that and didn't know it. I tore my ACL my junior yeah. year, real bad, and I didn't. It it it, it doesn't hurt for, until a little later. <laughs> yeah, I didn't went all the way to Puerto Rico and became a national champion. Uh, when my freshman year in college and three time junior, uh, I mean three time national junior college all American with a torn with a missing ACL and didn't. But you know. did that. You did that at at, at Butler. Yep. Now you were on the now were you now you say Puerto Rico um now are you are you is that, is that is that your nationality? Yes, my dad was born in Puerto Rico. My my parents are my dad is Puerto Rican. My mom is black. Right, no, mama, that's what I'm talking about. That's beautiful. Yeah. So beautiful. when 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 I was injured, I'm gonna tell you real fast. When I was injured, my senior year in college, I was sitting in class. And I was, I was just talking to God and I had this big old boot on my leg, this big old cast on my leg because the doctors thought it was a patellar mm. ligament sprain, but it was, it ended up being, being my ACL. But anyway, I was talking to God. I was sitting at the computer. I was like, Lord Jesus, if you bless me to go to college, I promise I will take it further than college. Mm. and I started looking up I don't know my mind just started going to work right then and there I started researching people from Puerto Rico and USA and I and I said I wondered I said I wonder do Puerto Rico have a track team yeah so I started googling and researching and I came across this woman named Carol Rodriguez yes. and I and I like studied carol rodriguez like i did research on carol rodriguez i knew what college she went to i was watching her youtube videos and i was trying to figure out how did she represent the country and when i went into when god blessed me with a scholarship from butler i had a mission it was it was further than me just going to college i had a covenant with god that i made i had a promise with god that i made and um, I was determined to lock that in. That's all I could think about. And I bounced back from that injury. I was able to recover. And mm -hmm. I had times and everything from the 60 to 100, 200, 400, 4 by 4. I just was really, a, I was an MVP. I was very valuable. And once I ran, like, good enough time to qualify for world juniors mm -hmm. i started reaching out to people from puerto rico on instagram you know and grace claxton gave me the person that was over the federation card his number his name was Hami lamboy wow. i i know no spanish but i google translated me a message and <laughs> sent it to Hami lamboy really? and Hami lamboy flew me out to puerto rico after my season and I've yeah. never been to Puerto Rico, didn't know anything about, I knew that I was Puerto Rican. I knew that my people was born there, but I've never been there. I've never been introduced to the culture really. And I got out there and I met my uncle that was 94 years old. He came and met me at the airport and told me that he was writing an autobiography for the family and I was going to be in it. And I just made sure I went out there and represented myself. Well, I represented Jesus Christ, myself, and my family, and I won the 200-400, and I was a Puerto Rico national champion. Hey, all right. You know what? That is absolutely outstanding, and you know what? You made, you made, you made the first initial step with God, and God brought you there, and he overwhelmed your cup and, and showed you, and that is so wonderful, Queen. Congratulations. And Thank we're going to go back and talk about like at the fast track collegiate in 2020 and 2020, you ran 797 in the 60. Your team ran yes. and at the Houston Super G, you ran a 59.48. I'm thinking these are indoor times, right? They were indoor, and that was my first year running after surgery. I, I, I'm just, so, I'm just taking. Yes. You, I'm just giving. We yes. going. I'm letting Ooh. you know. I did my research on you in 20. That was you did 2020, 2590 at the Bulldog. Then you came in 2579, going to the ASU. You've been to Phoenix. 
You at the LSU Purple. You've been in the Jaguar uh, Invitational. You've been in the Sun Belt. Ladies and gentlemen, should I tell you, this is Florida, Arizona, Louisiana, Louisiana Classic, Louisiana Battle, the Crimson Tide, the Sun Belt Conference, the SLU Pre-Conference tune-up, the Ted Nelson Invitational. And now we're not just talking about you being in it, and I can go on and on, and I should go on and on because we're just, that was just, but not only being at all of these places, not traveling and can, coming in and competing and doing well, and I watched your videos and you have a really outstanding technique. You get out, you get out on them. And if somebody else gets out on them, you let them ride, but you'll come down, you're, you're back, you're back in run. Stop and, in. And that three fourth kick and that hold, superb. And I can't, I got to give you up for that. Just that Thank whole you way so you get that technique up. And then in that 200, I mean, like you just get, and 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 the sixty, the sixty, you just getting you just getting started to your speed by the time you get to the end. Yeah, you know I'm saying I'll be peeping at like, some of them. Some of them girls got a quicker start, but you just yeah. like you catch them, you catch them quick, and then by the time mm -hmm. like they like fading, you just like oh, I'm just getting your start. That's why the two hundred, and I can see the I can see the hurdles in the two hundred being strong. I can see the why the quarter is your strong. Ladies and gentlemen, to, to run consistent um, high-level quarters, you know, for anybody uh, under a minute is is phenomenal. But then to take seconds and seconds underneath there and you get into the 55s, you know, you had all-time best. What were Your all-time best in college was what, 56? 5503. It's in, at Butler. <laughs> I ran all of that my freshman year with no ACL. That What's your best two hundred? What's your best two hundred times? Twenty four, twenty four, thirty seven. Okay, okay. Now, but did you when I when I pop out this year, it's gonna be way less than that. Now, you, now see, that's what I'm talking about. Now, yeah. and now this is an Olympic year, right? Yes. The time, the Olympic standard, uh, is twenty two four. I mean, twenty two five. Okay. I um, you know, I had my surgery. I I'm I've I've now fully recovered from my surgery. So when I was running those 59s, mm -hmm. it was like I had the surgery November 2018. Okay. January 2020, I had to leave JUCO. I mean, January 2020, I had to be on the track ready to run. And it was COVID during that time. And it was COVID. So it was just a lot of pressure bouncing mm -hmm. back from my ACL surgery and having it in JUCO. And then a JUCO telling you that if you don't leave by December 2020, mm -hmm. um, you're going to have to go D3. And I'm like, what? I'm not going D3. So um, it was right, just, right. it was, but shout out to me for opening up under a minute, you know? All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Shout out to you. That's up to you. Definitely. And then right in the Right. It, the not only were you just doing a quarter, you were doing multiple, multiple events and serving people. And like yeah. a lot of people don't realize when you when you run these events like the quarters at these big conferences and championships, there's there's rounds, you know. Rounds. There's some size. There's sometimes there's quarter rounds. That means you got to run your prelim, and then you got to run semi. a semi, and then you if you're lucky to get out the semi, you in the final. And depending on how fast you are, is your lane assignment. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know what I mean. And and and, and uh, but uh, but uh, but like getting back to your injury, because one thing about track and field is you know when you get injured, there's no running, there's no jumping, there's no throwing. You know, it's just you and your thoughts, and your brain plays tricks on you when you're hurt. Like you, it tells mm -hmm. you you can't do something that your high that your body has already trained you and your mind that you can do. So tell us how you overcame that parallel through your injury. Well, I had already, my, man, yeah. all things bad work together for the good of the Lord. Yeah. And right. for those, wait, all things bad work together for the good of those who love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. When I was 15, right. I had already, when I was in a mental hospital, I had already 
been through the mental, you know, pain. And yeah. I, so when I had my injury, I knew where, how, how, where depression could take you. Mm. And I did not want to go back. I knew. Yeah. yeah. I didn't want to go back there. It probably so, motivated you. Did it motivate you? It, it motivated me to not be depressed because yeah. I had just did all of these great things. I just had, was a three time, my life changed in a year. I had just, became a three-time junior college all-american and then i accomplished my goal of going to puerto rico but not only did i go to puerto rico i was crowned the national champion in the 200 and 400 meters and then the next year national champion. you know they told me reina your acl is missing and i'm like what they're like you gotta get surgery or you probably won't be able to run again and then the Olympics was in 2020. So I was like, you know, I, I, in my head, I was like, you know what, Raina, do you want to risk not being able to run in a sport ever again? Or do you just want to go ahead and get this surgery while it's early and you still have time to try and qualify for the Olympics um, in 2020? Uh, which COVID happened, so it ended up being in 2021. Um, I actually, whenever you really want something and God has already revealed to you what it could be like, I didn't already went overseas. I didn't already met people who were now Olympic gold medalists. You know, I've seen their lives, how their, how their lives changed. And and I'm just like, man, God, I know you're just not showing me this for it not to be me. But you have to go through the valley because in the valley it teaches you, it teaches you things. Even though I couldn't walk, I was in Kansas. It was zero degrees snowing. I'm from Houston. It's hot. Um, I was in situations where I was there by myself and I. And I had to think for myself and I couldn't walk. And right. I was working, but then I had to figure out how to hustle. I started selling waist trainers to eat. So, like, it all just equipped me to be able to handle real life. And injuries ha in injuries come, things, setbacks happen. But it's just really right. all about seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, you know? Yeah. People think success is like this, but really success is like this. Roller coaster. And my, yeah. Yeah, and my be... story is going to be different than a lot of people's, you know, and I knew that. I I knew that already. Wonderful. So let me ask you a question. So now um now let me ask you two questions and so that you can think about these. Are you training now? You said you're training now for the Olympics and getting better. And are you turning pro? Or are you already pro? So I just, I'm going to answer the first question. I mean, the second question first. Okay. I am signed to an agency. Uh, okay. I have an agent. His name is uh, Joseph Codrington. Shout out to Codrington Elite Performance. I also got drafted into this, the first African-American owned track and field league called the North yeah. American Track and Field League. It's a track where, and field league? Yes. There oh, is, wow. It's still beginning, in the beginning stages. Ooh, um, but they have three teams, the Chicago Blazing Storm, the New York Quick Steppers, and the Detroit Turbines. I run for the Detroit Turbines. Um, <laughs> and um, I've surpassed all of my injuries that I've so, you know, hopefully it's no more on the radar. Uh, but uh, I did get... You look terrific, huh? by the way. Yeah, you look Thank terrific. You. I tell you're in tip fit condition. Yes, I I did have an injury in November. I, I was training uh, at TCU. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm training professional. I'm professional now. I've signed. I have an agent and I've, I'm signed okay. with a league. So I'm, I'm a professional runner through mm -hmm. those terms and conditions so this year i'm just trying to get the contract well not whenever it's god's timing i'm trying to get the contract 
but I know I want God to know I want it this year. <laughs> now, you, now, do you, you get a chance to represent uh, Puerto Rico um, yes. in the Olympics? Um, do they have like? For, so let me ask you a question. So, is the, there's Olympic standards that you have to qualify for? Right. So for me, mm -hmm. all I have to do is hit the standard. So that's what I'm training for right now. I just train, you know, my training is. And which one? To, are you I am trying to hit the standard in the 200. Okay. okay. That's what's that? Uh, 23, which is a 22. Yeah. The 22, five. Um, 22, just based 22, off of my, um, a lot of things changed about me technically, mentally. Um, and it was those small things that I needed. Whenever, yeah. whenever I open up, it's going to be, it's going to be something, a, a sight to see. It's going to, it's going to be like, dang, where she come from type of year. <laughs> um, but um, I'm training you know my coach. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you some encouragement. You know what? When I ran the deuce, I was, I was stuck in my head. Right. Me. Like, oh, I'm just a long jumper. I'm just a relay king. I'm a wonder guy. I don't want to, because I didn't want to raise my friend. Getting back to mm -hmm. what I'm telling my own children, my coach. But at that time, I had like these guys called Tico Duckett and Eric Miles and all these, and shots up to Ron Wilson, Ronnie G, and things like that. But these people were like, you know, just like you, but they were like, kind of like idle guys, you know, you know, I didn't want to go and push the button because they were my friends. But But when I got a chance to get to college, that's when I found out, oh my goodness, I can be fast. So I wanted mm -hmm. to give you this right here. You can definitely get way faster than 200 when you just let it go. Let it go. You know what I'm saying? Let it go mm -hmm. from the start. Like that, that one is a, I'll just say this, be passionate about the 200. That make any mm -hmm. sense? Mm -hmm. Be passionate about that 200 on every phase. And then, and then, and then it'll, it'll Every phase. Every phase. I just feel like I've been running 400s for a long time. The 200 is, you know, now I get to focus. Now I have a focus point, you know. And you get I have, out so well in I your corner. The, you get yes. out like 100 meters. So I'm yeah. like, like when you, when you hit, like, I've been watching your run. I've been watching you run. I'm just <laughs> telling you, I've been doing a lot of film. Like you get out. And hold it and get stronger. You feel what I'm saying? It's almost like you're a 600 meter runner. Mm. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, like, if you got to 600 meters, you probably have a 600 meter world record type stuff because you would get because <laughs> you got another gear in between that gear. You know, when you show them down. Yeah. I, just like your 60, you're getting faster. Your 200, you're getting faster. Your quarter, you getting you strong at the end. The top end. You know? Yeah. Top speed. So all I would say to you and your race queen is just be be as super passionate at, like you are at the endings in the beginnings. Right. That's it. That's it. Like kill I, I I think I got it. I know I got it. I just I been through it. so much and I'm proud of you. and I'm, I'm, and I'm able to and I'm able to keep going, and God mm -hmm. has blessed me to train at the University of Houston with yeah. Coach Sandra Glover. My coach is an Olympian, been to the Olympics mm -hmm. before. So just mm -hmm. to have, and, you know, I don't have the super fastest times right now, but yeah. the fact that people, they see mm -hmm. it, you know? Mm -hmm. they Yeah. And, and, I, and I work really hard, and... No yeah. matter what I face, I know I know why I'm facing it. Yeah. Because when you have a dream, mm -hmm. you know, and is it, it of course you're gonna try to be under attack because the devil does doesn't want you to because he know how big you're gonna be, you know? He already yeah. know because mm -hmm. because we are a part of his kingdom. And since he know that the only leverage he has is to try and trick your mind. But I already know that he's a trickster, so that won't work anymore for me. So now, <laughs> and you know what? That, 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 that's so good. And, and right there, and and I can hear on the videos. Shout out to your coaches because you got a lot of love from your coaches, and I can hear the uh, the the 
you know, when you hear them rooting for you, not only are they rooting for you, they they can say, come on, oh, there you go. You know, it's always encouraging. You know what I'm saying? So I can tell that you got a great uh, group of people that believe in you and you believe in yourself. And you're right, you know, like um, like when I got injured all the times in high school, I was like, the devil is a liar. Ain't no way in the world I'm supposed to be hurt at this time in my life as all the work that I didn't put in, you know what I'm saying? To get to this level, to be like, now I got nothing, I couldn't have it. You know what I'm saying? And and, and the one thing I wanted to say to you, you know, not only have you gone on and been a pillar for Houston, you know, you got out of Houston, you're also a shining star for Houston. You know what I'm saying? Aww. You are a shining star for Houston because you, you've you gone through so much adversity. You are, you know, mm -hmm. you're connected connected to God. And you know Houstonians is connected to God. You know that. <laughs> all right? <Yeah>. So, you, <laughs> so you're representing well on all that end. But not only that, that covenant that you said that you made with God, you still are working there. So... So in your future, it's always going to have something connected with, with track and field. What, and it's going to be your professional career. You're going to chance to get overseas. I really love the fact that you guys, uh, somebody's created that draft. That is such a wonderful opportunity to be able to have like meets and, you know, that could be televised and, you know. You, you yes, have your, we, have a, we have a meet. May have our, are y'all in Michigan? I'm I'm in California, but we from California. Oh. We from the zoo. <laughs> well, I have a we have a meet May fourth, uh, in Farming Hills, Michigan. Farming, Farming Hills. Yes, yeah. Farmington Hills, Michigan. So Is if you guys indoor, can make indoor, it, indoor or it's outdoor. Outdoor, okay. Okay, what what okay. day? Uh, May fourth, I believe May it's 4th. a Saturday. Oh, that's gonna be here at Detroit. You got to track me, track and feel. Rob Lou, if you're listening, you can go. Uh, shouts up to Rob Lou. Robert Lewis, Robert Lewis was a mentor of mine when I was uh, in junior high school. You talked about great coaches and things like that. Rob Lou was already running track at the Western Michigan University in the quarter. And so he, so we met in an arcade. And he and we and we've been like, <laughs> like this would be silly now for an eighth grader to meet a collegiate, but he was really my mentor and my big brother. And the reason why I'm saying Rob Lou is because Rob Lou became eventually a Hall of Famer at Western Michigan University. And he you know what his queen, you know what his time in the, in the quarter was? A 45, 44. That's pretty not not so much Texas, but like but I don't wanna I don't want to tell Rob <laughs> like 45 93. Okay, forty five. Ninety three. Yeah, that's he, good. Yeah, he, he he was he was that. But but like but but I was saying that's because you were talking about some of the coaches that you're working with right now. Yeah. And you, if you want to give some a shout, especially for your two hundred, would you like to give a shout out to them? And we get um, close to the end of our 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 interview. The our four quarters is almost up already. Oh, you it's the third it? quarter. We we're getting into the fourth quarter. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I don't know what time we're at. We just we just going. I'm I'm thinking we're in the, at the end. Thank you, Doug. Appreciate it. Some of your coaches well, that you. I want to give a shout out to uh, my coach currently right now, Sandra Glover. Yes. I want to tell her thank you, thank you so much uh, for just pouring into me, giving me her extra time. She's uh she's also the coach at U of H and. She stays after working out with the with the U of H athletes to train me, and she works around my schedule, and she just works around my life challenges, and I just really do appreciate her so 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 much. Um, and I want to give a shout out to my um chiropractic team, the Body Max Paraland. <laughs> she treats my body twice a week. Uh, oh, wow. That's beautiful. So um, I'm sponsored by them. Um, shout out to them for just just, just Dr. Rose and Dr. Ashley and just the, all the technicians that just be so friendly and, and just help me relax and just cater to my needs and all my aches and pains that I be having. 
Um, you definitely have to share this interview with them so they can hear how wonderful a shout that that was for them. <laughs> yes. Um, I just really do appreciate them because your body is a fine tool machine. What I'm trying to do, I can't just not work on my body and shout out to them who they just really cater to that and my body won't be how it is without them so I won't be able to endure through the things that I'm trying to do and endure through all the 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 tough workouts if it wasn't for them so shout Mm -hmm. out to them and shout out to just all the coaches that I've had along this journey who've seen what I who what I've seen in myself since I was a little girl it took a village Mm -hmm. And and shout out to them for just allowing me to be Raina, you know. Yeah, right. Raina always knows. Even, Raina always it. knows what's best for herself, and she's always gonna make sure, through the grace of God, that she's in yeah. the best positions that she, that she can be. And they don't take anything personal. They just let me go, and I and I really do appreciate that. So shout out to everybody and. Most importantly, shout out to my parents and the most high, you know, because none of this will be possible without all of them. And just mm-hmm. all the people they just man, there's just so many people that God has dropped in in different moments of my life to help me to get to where I am. And it's right. not and it's not no glory to me. It's the glory through Jesus Christ and his spirit that he uses through people he uses people to bless me so i'm just extremely grateful and thankful and so this journey and and where i'm headed me going to the olympics me qualifying for the olympics is just old to so many people you know yeah absolutely that's wonderful thank you for saying that and you know what you've got this beautiful glow around you you might not be able to see this light (laughs) but there's blue and yellow and and white light that's r- surrounding your yourself. It's it's right really? there. Really, I can't see. It. You can't see it, but there is that uh-huh. light. It was right wow. there. Wow. So I just wanted yeah. to tell you, you know, I, I didn't. I did, I'm proud of you, and you know, you have superseded anything that I've done in track and field. You know, I just went to the duck the track and ran for the ducks and did pretty good. But you have taken it to a, a higher level. Next level. You continue to take it to the next level. You stand up strong for not only Houston, for, for number one, for God. You stand up strong for God. You stand up strong for yourself. See, you're a quarter miler. A female quarter miler is what, now, I don't want to say this, but a male quarter miler, we call them the dog. That's the horse. That's the, you know what I'm saying? That's the one. That's the one that going to get them. That's, when, that's the one we send out on that mission. You know what I mean? To, to get the job done. And that's the kind of personality that the quarter biler has. You know what I'm saying? And they're always determined because that is the hardest race. You have to go full out sprint. There's no, there's no, there's no eyelash left when you get to that. <laughs> hey, what do you, what do you think about Shakiri Richard? Shakiri, how do you like her? I think that Shakiri is herself. You know. Mm-hmm. Um. She's beautiful, um, unapologetic, mm-hmm. and she just her, you know. And it's 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 nothing that you can make up, you know. She's from Texas, so of course she's from Dallas. So, so absolutely, cool, absolutely, she's cool in my book, you know. Um, I wish her. She has really, um, really did some she great. She came back. She had- she, she came back. back, but she did some great things for the sport. She brought attention to the sport. She brought a uh, flavor to the sport. She brought personality. Um, she would forever be one of the greatest in history, no matter if she ran fast or whatever, you know. And shout out to her for just being herself through all through through all the BS that life throws at you and and the yeah. people that p- people is very hurtful and all types of things and she did not let that stop her and just losing her parents and you know just bouncing back from all of those things being a small person you know she's a small person only a you get what I'm saying but she got a big heart so she a lion I I, I love it 
right. That's, you know, shout yeah, out. I remember. I remember when yeah. she. I remember when she ran and the Jamaicans was laughing at her, and she came back and beat them same Jamaicans in that hundred meter when she came and got yeah, them. Imagine, that- imagine. Not only is your know, competition laughing at you, but you have the world laughing at you. You have. You get what I'm saying? So shout out it's to bigger. her to just being being able to stand tall with her head held up high. In those yeah. moments, in those big moments of adversity, you know, because it's one thing to be scrolling on the internet, but when you when you walk in a room and you're literally, uh, I just shout out. No, my, my 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 shout, rest in peace <laughs> to Fred Kenny Graham. He used to play football for the Chargers and the Steelers. He had a great saying. He said, "He this is what she did. She just put the quietus on." <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what she did. When, you, when, when people. And, Bad about you and you you put that quietness on them and they can never say anything about them about you again right That's she waited way. she waited her turn you know yes. like mm-hmm. she and knew she, like and, even like with me like a lot of people would say because i ran i i didn't run the best times once i got to my d1 university but i'm still further than a lot of people that you get what i'm saying so it's yeah. like yeah y'all wondering when i'm coming but i know i'm coming but until then like y'all can talk all y'all want y'all can believe that i'm a social media athlete you know but men didn't qualify me god qualified me and so oh. since he do- he done that he's going to do exceedingly and abundantly above all so it's like i said it's i, I believe it's, like we it's have be a sight to see already <laughs> He had a guess it's, not, it's not it's not me. I just want y'all to know no. it, it's it's God. Right, right. We don't we, argue yeah. with me. I, it's it's God. It's not me, man. <laughs> oh, God, man God. Just I said Raina. God said Raina. So take it up with him. Well, Raina, I just want to thank you though for uh coming on to the show because I just um powerful. It was very powerful and I just feel like um me being in your life I appreciate you. Being How a did part you of the um, we was at a um, um, I let her tell. I think we was at a. It was a I mean, Black History uh, Hall of Fame type of. I, I, I think it was um, the ninth, was nineteenth. Yeah, June nineteenth Hall of Fame event. I yeah, was I was doing the early. Yeah, I had modeled in a fashion show the day before. And then okay. I got invited to come back and just it was supposed to be like the 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 Juneteenth Hall of Fame of people of Houston and stuff. Yeah. And I met my guy and I was telling him that I needed a sponsor. Like, you know, I was trying to network, that's trying bad. to get a sponsor. That's bad right there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's how we connected. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she been a, so she been a part of the blockchain for a minute, the management part, and she's I've been really trying to put some stuff together for her. And we came up and uh, we locked in, and we've been locked in ever since. So, and happy and birthday know. from yesterday. Yeah. Her birthday was just yesterday. Happy yes. birthday to you. Happy <laughs> to you. Happy <laughs> birthday, double R. Happy birthday, birthday to, you. to you. There it That's is. Thank it. you. I turned 25. That's what I'm so talking I'm about. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking like a real OG right now. <laughs> you, know? you know what? Look, look, look. This flavor. We I was gonna say we have a we had a guest on our, our show in the past, Marion Cinevert, and she says, Beauty is you. And you know, and 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 so what I was saying is like, you know, beauty is you. And you can go ahead and definitely be beautiful on that on that track, and and not only be beautiful, be eloquent when you're serving them. All right, be passionate. We Grace. back. We, I'm, I'm, I can't wait. I'm a new fan. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, you, we got we got a lot of people that follow our show that are you know athletes and things like that, and they're definitely going to be tuning in and checking you out. So you're going to have a whole new ray of, of fans. Aww. It's, 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 and uh, now we can't wait. Uh, when you do go to Puerto Rico and and, and uh, go back, will you share with us? Because you know what, um, my aunt told us some things about me. I'm very prophetic, so I can see you opening. I can see you track camps in Puerto Rico. 
teaching the young there with the help of the coaches that you've already been with. And I can also Oh, see- wow. That's, you, you know what's crazy that you say that? Um, yeah. So I have this big goal, of course, of being an Olympian. But my goal of like, my what I want to do with my Olympian status is open up a sports performance school like IMG in Puerto Rico. So that's crazy that you said. Oh yeah, I'm, just, I, I'm telling you, I'm prophetic. So I, I see that. You know, I dig it. I'm very. I'm, I'm just telling you, you know, I know your gifts, and wow. I see. I'm about to cry. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. It's all good because it's coming. And, 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 and yeah. just prepared for it. So everything, and you still have a lot of victories coming on that track. All right. Lots. And then and, and professional. And and just um always remember Jackie Joyner Kersey. Jackie Joyner Kersey, yes. You know, you're a younger yeah. head. I'm I'm because like Jackie Joyner Kersey had asthma. I teach kids, and their their favorite thing is just, I got asthma, I can't do it. I say. You need to learn about Jackie Jernick Kersey. She had all of those things. And Edwin Moses. And go back to some of the old school. And even Carl Lewis. You know, some mm-hmm. of our celebrated champions and things and their stories. And that old school track and field before uh, we was any social media. Nobody cared nothing about track and field. Oh, track oh and man, field. she got it. She got it. She got track it. Field wasn't basketball. It wasn't football. It wasn't volleyball. It wasn't tennis. You know, you had to go out there and run every year and then four years come everybody like oh the olympics but don't nobody see you grinding all the mother years so i want to commend you queen for all that you've done for the sport all that you've done for houston all that you've done for yourself and definitely what you've done for god and what you continue to do and we thank you for being a guest here on i'm from the zoo uh thank you guys so much i appreciate you and can you keep us updated on uh we uh stay closely so when you go there we'll We'll tap in and you can just zap in anytime and tell us what's going on. All right. Yes, I will uh send you guys a schedule after okay. my coach say, Raina, it's time to pop out. <laughs> right. So, and, and, and when is your first and you said May 4th is a track meet in Farmington? Yes. Um we're tr- I'm trying to do a meet uh before that, but you know I had a uh, this is a slight little hamstring in- injury in November. So yes. they wanted me to get six weeks worth of training under my belt again before I run. So okay. that six weeks will probably uh, have me popping out March 22nd or par- March 28th. Okay. Okay. Well, congratulations. Hey, Randy, we gonna, hey, hey, it's time to get in the tub. You can get in the tub, by the way, too. You yeah, I'll be trying track. to get in the tub. I, man, Mr. Brand didn't know I've been trying to get in that tub for a couple You got to get in the now. tub now. I got you. <laughs> hey, before we go, we always ask our guests, uh, we kind of put them on the spot, if there was, and you've named so many wonderful people, if there was one particular person that you could uh, recommend to be a guest on our show, who would that be? One particular person? Hmm. My friend Chelsea, who uh, she's an upcoming artist, but she's um, she's a she's just a good person for us. Just talking about life, you know. I feel that a lot of things. Yes, we. I I I probably have more accolades than her and stuff, but yeah. she's. But she got it in the heart, you know? And I feel like people like that needs more exposure because we need more realness and more things that we relate to the world, you know? Uh, Because life isn't what's on social media, you know? We go through real things. So being able to talk Uh about real life situations and hearing the voice of the youth is very... um, it's very motivational. So, well, that's so kind. Her. Well, she's next. <laughs> we'll get her on. Tell her, tell her she come on anytime. Well, thanks. Well, absolutely, Dub. We'll definitely, uh, Mr. Brandon, definitely. We'll definitely love to have her as a guest. And we thank you so much and continued success and terrific luck for you and in and, and all your healing and on your winning. All right. Thank you so much. God bless. I receive all of that in Jesus' thanks. name. And Jesus, man, thank you. Amen.
Thank you so much. Hey, I don't want to go, but we got to get out of here. Dub, where you hey. from, man? I'm from the zoo, baby. I'm from the zoo. Okay. Blockchain management. Check it out. Hey, Miss Productions, come, I'm, come through network. Kiki, take us out. <laughs> Shout out to my uncle, Dan Thanksgiving. Blockchain. Hey, man, thank you. Yeah. I can't stress, I can't stress, I can't stress, I can't stress right now. No. Remix. I can't stress, I can't stress, I can't stress, I can't stress right now. Like a Britney pick, fam, just tell me why.